This is a trilogy of frank reviews of underwhelming snacking foods. <laughs> One, a spiced meat tube. <laughs> Behold yon slender flesh truncheon, forged from the motley flotsam of an abattoir gutter. A nightmarish pick and mix of glutinous wibbly bits, forcibly stripped from the carcasses of industrially slaughtered swine. <laughs> a cartilaginous agglomeration of snouts, trotters, and little curly tails, all ground and bound into an impossibly dense gristle totem, <laughs> lubricated in a putrid serum, distilled from the flash-boiled fear sweat of shrieking porcine victims. <laughs> I give ye the bastard hate child of a turd and a salami, the foul and loathsome pepperami. <laughs> Two, a sugar-free adulteration of a warmly regarded butterscotch candy. I dub thee abomination. Certes thou wearest the golden trappings of thy fairer, sweeter sibling, but I know thee to be false. Insincere, saccharine liar. <laughs> On the tongue, a bitter aftertaste. Bitter as the forlorn tears of an overlooked orphan. And thy texture, oh, let us speak of thy texture. For thou art smooth, aye, and creamy forsooth. Creamy as pus. That hot, viscous liquor lanced straight from the burning heart of an inflamed rectal abscess. <laughs> oh, but this is mere prologue to the storied litany of thy sins. But I shall relent, wanting only for time to further elucidate thine obscenities innumerable. But know this, O oh gold-clad villain, with my being's every fibre do I abhor thee. Werther's original, sugar-free. <laughs> Three, an individually, an individually wrapped luncheon cheese. <laughs> Thou twice-armoured fiend, sheathed first in wax and then in plastic to hide thy pale, claggy mass. Clot of congealed smegma, <laughs> siphoned from twixt the glands of a grotesque demon's postulant phallus. A tumour, bland and beige, vile cancer of the snack world, and gross affront to cheeses everywhere. You red-robed charlatan. <laughs> Preaching lies and malice like the fallen priest of a long-forgotten elder god. Would that I could consign thee to the lowest circle of hell, thou thrice-accursed baby bell. Thank you. One more for you. Um, this is the life and times of a sewer-dwelling fat bird. Oh. <laughs> Some fans in the room. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a fat bird's life starts with one wet wipe. We're not too fussy as to type, so long as it's mostly made of plastic or something soiled and a bit elastic. <laughs> So wet wipes form my heart, my solid core, to which I add oh so much more. I snack on used tampons like canapes, specially nice with a thick fecal glaze. I dine on a passing panty liner, for an evening meal there's nothing finer. Oh look here now, a boon so happy. A brimming, overspilling nappy, filled with that rich primordial ooze that constitutes a newborn's poos. I take this prize and guzzle it whole, feel my form grow a little more swole. All things are welcome in my grand kingdom, none more so than a well-used condom. Latex sleeves filled with milky spunk lumps, claggy treasures emptied from your scrotums. <laughs> These hardy things make me who I am, dense and wibbly like a two-ton spam. <laughs> but what is it you want, I hear you cry. That's hard to explain, but here I'll try. 
See, we fat birds live by solemn credos to collect all trash that won't decompose, <laughs> to hold it fast in an iron grip so through your sewers it cannot slip, and so to clog your sanitary systems till it all backs up to your toilet systems. <sighs> Our aim by now should be self-evident to fill your homes all up with excrement. <laughs> But tis not we fatbergs who ought feel shame. Tis not our bumholes that are to blame. <laughs> the ones with greatest cause to blush are you with your unthinking flush. You send all sorts of trash down to your sewers, you bunch of thoughtless, selfish pooers. <laughs> because of you, down here there's no, room, no more room. So really you're the cause of your own doom. For I'll eat and gorge and swell and grow, but soon there'll be no place else to go. No room down here, so up your pipes I'll climb, reaching your homes with limbs of slime. <laughs> I'll clog your sinks with my bulk so rank, fill your rooms with my horrific stank. Then one day, you'll think to fight me back. You'll buy gallons of bleach, plan your attack. But I won't give you any chance to fight, for I'll crawl out your toilet in dead of night. I'll come find you sleeping in your bed, and make a meal of you instead. Thank you. <laughs>